comes to sex, sexting, alcohol, when it comes to making the right decisions, it's all about judgment. So how do you define that in a young brain, especially a tween? Well, I think judgment comes from experience. And the fact of the matter is that they haven't experienced much yet. And so that's really where our job comes in as parents. How do you explain the flirty message that this could be interpreted another way? My son is 11 years old, and I tell him, look at what your friend did. I try to always put it on another kid so they don't feel like they're on the spot. And by by example, you can't be putting bikini pictures of yourself up on Facebook and then tell your daughter not to do it. Yes. Spy on my child. Oh, absolutely. Look at you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is no privacy for teen, for tweens. There can't be privacy because it's really important. If you have a daughter and she sends a picture of herself that's inappropriate to somebody and that gets forwarded, that is going to be out there forever. I cut access to sending pictures. I think it's something every parent should do. You go to the cell phone store and you say, I don't want them to have the ability to send or receive pictures. I collect all electronic at I do too. Do you really? Kindle? No computer, no, no, no phone, phone after bed. It's in my possession. So that there's, there's no late night texting, there's or no typing, emailing or, or whatever you, you can do. She has a nook. I, I collect it. It's part of our bedtime routine. You turn it in. On the technology side of things, I feel like parents, you need to educate yourself. If you don't have a Facebook page, if you are letting your child on Skype, if you're letting them go on these things because, well, it's fine, it's no big deal, then you're fooling yourself. Yeah. I have a technology rule in my house. I have to have every password to everything. Mm-hmm. So if you get a Facebook account, I want to have the password. And you can't just be friends with your child on Facebook because they can block you. So it's really important that every parent knows you need to have their Facebook password, their Twitter password, their computer password. What about the parent that can't talk to their son? Or what about the kid that's a little closed off, shy, that doesn't really engage in conversation like this? Where do you start, Kimberly? Well, that's where the parenting work comes in because you, you really can't You just said that, that parenting work. Yeah, parenting is work, and I think that's part of the problem. You have to figure out how to connect with your child because the stakes are very high. Yeah. And we can't lose our children because we didn't take the time to put in the work to figure out how to communicate to them about the life lessons that they need. The biggest mistake that I see parents make is being their child's judge and jury. If your child comes home and they make a mistake and it's a big one, you want them to feel that they can come to you and you're going to help them. Mm -hmm. If they feel so scared of you that they can't tell you, they'll go and make an even bigger mistake. Okay, I love your list. It's a set of criteria for attending a party. And I think by putting that out there and, you know, in the beginning, it kind of diffuses any type of debate about what is, can I go? I get nervous when they withdraw. Withdraw, When they're, you know, retreating into their room, they don't want to know from you they slam the door there's a lot the the arguments are intensified even more anything you say they say the exact opposite I mean I deal with that anyway but if it comes to the point where there's like depression involved in the mix Mm -hmm. that's when that's a total wake-up call and also I think that before there's the uh, even the opportunity for them to even try something you need professional intervention one thing I try to do is create other avenues for communication Mm -hmm. I have girlfriends who my daughter considers that's her aunties and they check in with her you cannot start a conversation with your child when they're 13 years old. Yeah, right. It's too late. Maybe where, where do you start? At seven, eight, seven, nine, seven. Yeah. So I think if you are a person who loves yourself and, you know, has a real good character, that that will help you make good decisions for the life. Yay. <laughs> All right. So here's a little handbook from the handbook. This is called the, the Geo Checklist, mm-hmm. Going Out Checklist. And it tells you, like, where.